Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robin the Trader. I'm your host, Yassine. I'm a financial expert or a life professional. If you're thinking about investing in the stock market, consult one and invest at your own risk. Now, today it has been a great day for us. I mean, if you did not make a few thousand dollars here and there today, I apologize. But tomorrow is a brand new day, and tomorrow is a day where maybe you can enter into the market. Whether you have one share of Nokia, one share of, I don't know, Bio, or one share of even Apple or Tesla, I want to congratulate you for at least joining us into this market trading. I mean, a lot of people do not, do not, and keep hesitating on, on, on just putting something into the market. And I think this is the way us millennials and us new generation uh, at least keeping our money moving along the market there's no reason to have money in the bank if you do not need it in the next few months or so you know robin hood themselves actually have a debit card which you can use uh in, and instead of actually having taken the money out you can just use a debit card instead but other than that i want to just talk about two penny stocks that will boom in the near future and one of them actually has a lot of uh potential and one of them pff, i mean the news that came out today was great but it didn't really go up for some reason, but that's fine because today it has been crazy. Market has been very volatile. People have been making money. Stocks that shouldn't go up like AMC. I apologize to any of the United States or England or I don't know if you guys have AMC. When was the last time you went to a movie theater? Please tell me. I mean, the movie theaters have been closed for over months. For AMC to be going up, that's a short squeeze. Nobody has. For GameStop to be going up, we understand that, you know. For uh, BBBY to go up, we understand that. BlackBerry, they're making cybersecurity and they're working alongside NVIDIA and all that. We understand that. But AMC? Oh, guys, if you were holding a position, I don't recommend, of course. I cannot recommend. But if I was holding a position AMC, I will take my profits, to be honest. But if anybody tells you anything about Nokia, ticker symbol NOK, and tells you, hey, leave because it's not a good company well tell them this yeah it has been up 38 percent today but for the last week it has only really gone up 41 percent for the last month 51 percent the last uh, three months 40 percent this thing has not done that big of a number to be honest in the last year it's only gone up 50 percent that's pretty normal for these stocks i mean it's really just doing the numbers it was doing on in august so we're not really squeezing nothing now if you look up your interest yes it's pretty high 15 million, uh, a little bit higher than prior, of course, before 48 million. So we have a bit, uh, you know, a little over 2 million um, short sales on top. But does that matter? I think maybe just a little bit. It says here, you know, the short volume ratio it has been gone up by around 12.68. And you can see it's actually gone down. So a lot of people are, are, uh, have stopped shorting Nokia itself. Why? Because Nokia actually has a lot of potential in the near future. Now, I'm going to give you guys, like, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five different reasons why Nokia still has a chance and will actually go to the moon. First one, not only does Google partnered up with Nokia to accelerate cloud-native 5G readiness for communications providers. Now, look at this. Under this partnership, Google Cloud and Nokia will work closely to validate, optimize, and evolve cloud-native network functions, and the two companies will also co-innovate new solutions that will help CSPs deliver 5G connectivity and service at scale. Now, let me ask you guys, how many of the listeners have 5G phones? I don't. My phone is not 5G capable, and I my service provider, I don't think, even offers 5G. I have Sprint. So... We are so early into this whole 5G connectivity and service uh, 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 innovation that I think holding Nokia at the moment is one of the best investments that I have done, actually. You know, we are so early. You know, these companies are, are yes, they may be like grandfathered or whatever, but they innovate because they get new CEOs. They get new, uh, uh, you know, new group of, of, of idea makers now it says here today global csps can unlock new monetization opportunities by driving 5g connectivity and advanced service to enterprise customers at the network edge to deliver new digital experience for consumers google cloud and nokia will create solutions that bring together nokia's 5g operation service and networks capabilities with google's cloud leading technologies in ai ml and analytics 
There's a lot of good words there, and that's what we like. So if anybody tells you don't buy a Nokia, Nokia is a short squeeze. Hey, tell them, listen, take it to the bank. Next one, Nokia actually is going to start working on the U.S. federal 5G cybersecurity project. And it says here, Nokia announced this week that the company was selected as a technology provider and collaborator for the National Security Center of Excellence 5G cybersecurity project. So, if anybody tells you, hey, Nokia's gonna, uh, Nokia's gonna go down to $2, $3, whatever, say, hey, go to the bank. Because I'm gonna be there, checking out all my hundreds. Now, look at the next one. Nokia's comprehensive C-SPAN, C-BAN, sorry, portfolio ready for 5G build-out in the United States. What else do we need? Now, it says here, last year, Nokia was the first vendor to complete a 5G trial in C-band spectrum in the United States using its commercial 5G airscale portfolio. The C-band is already the pioneer, the pioneer mid-band in many countries around the world for 5G services. What else do we need? Now, it says now the United States has completed its C-band spectrum auction. So, we just finished our auction. The carriers are turning their attention towards capitalization on this new spectrum asset and rolling out new 5g services nokia has a comprehensive range of solutions ready to go that ready to go do you hear that ready to go that cover all the customer requirements and scenarios we look forward to working with our customers and we are looking forward to having you mr tommy next nokia and Alyssa push network boundaries with world's first First, look at this. I mean, this is unbelievable, and nobody talks about this. This just came out today. First, one terabyte deployment. What are you even talking about? Look at this. Most networks are still operating a multitude of 100G ports with 400G on the horizon. Nokia's trial with Elisa is proven out terabyte interfaces today we are double and 10 times i mean where are we right now that's i mean this is unbelievable the amount of innovation nokia is in if anybody even like hisses that nokia is gonna go down to be honest like i've been talking to a couple of my friends and i said hey you know what I see Nokia app if this short squeeze is actually real and, and Nokia is going to go to the moon because, you know, not because of this great news, but because uh, there's a lot of uh, short interest and all that. I said, maybe Nokia can hit. I mean, this sounds unbelievable. And maybe you will unsubscribe after I say this, but $100. Maybe Nokia can hit $100. And, you know, nowadays I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable things that are happening day to day. GameStop was three dollars, went up to three hundred. I mean, Kodak uh, at a time was a failed, uh, uh, failed um, camera company, and then they randomly started, you know, I mean, manufacture like helping the manufacturing of, of COVID nineteen uh, vaccines or, or whatever it is. I mean, it's unbelievable what some of these companies just jumped to thirty three dollars. Another thing they're doing as well is or. Or redo, Algeria deploys Nokia's cloud native core software to prepare for the future. So look at this. This is a North African company that's actually using Nokia's cloud native core software. So I just gave you guys many things. I mean, we are expanding to North Africa. We are in the federal government. We are working with one of the biggest companies, Alphabet, Google themselves. We are working on one terabyte. Uh, uh, one terabyte connectivity. Now, we are. what else do you need from a company like Nokia? So, will I be holding Nokia for, for, for a long time? Yes. Yes, I will. Maybe not the calls, but the stock itself? Yes. Yes. And will I buy back down if it goes to, I don't know, back to $4? What am I going to really lose on, huh? A dollar? Yeah, I'll average down. I'll hold Nokia because I see Nokia as a good, I see Nokia as one of those stocks that's going to be like, hey, wow, why didn't I buy it when it was back at $5 when it was flat? You know, when you look at like uh, when you look at stocks and they're like flat like this, they weren't flat the whole time. You know, this thing was actually trading up and down, gone up all the way to four or eight, coming back down to three. That's a lot going back to four. That's a lot of movement. So when these stocks, you see them after a while, you're like, wow, this thing was trading flat. No, it wasn't. It just looks like it was trading flat. 
Now, the next stock is the most unbelievable stock that probably has been in your portfolio. And don't be worried. Don't sell it. It's J-A-G-X Jaguar Health. Now, Jaguar Health, uh, I guess today I think a lot of people sold this stock because maybe they were trying to get into JME or BBY or Nokia itself. Now, Jaguar themselves are a commercial stage pharmaceutical company which engages in the development of gastrointestinal product now this thing already is in commercial stage they already have a product but not only that but today they actually had great news and i will show you in the next few slides now let's look at the website themselves and you'll see this is the most non chill this is the very most chill uh, i mean uh, website i've ever been in my life i feel like i'm at ease jaguar health makes me feel like at ease i feel like my money is safe now, Jaguar Health is one of those stocks that can shoot up to $10, $8 in no time. This thing is actually showing great, 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 great potential. I mean, let's look at their earnings just to see. Look at these things. I mean, you can see that it's slowly coming into profit. Now, this is probably back when it wasn't in commercial stage and it was probably preclinical. But now, there is more than better news coming up to the stock. And tomorrow, of course, I'm going to add more shares into my other account. Now, sometimes I hold I hold stocks in different accounts and in different criterias and all that. So Jaguar Health, I already hold a bunch of shares. And I'm actually, uh, today I, 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 um, I um, what's the word I'm thinking about? I uh, average down, and that's what you should do sometimes. If you had the stock at, you know, four dollars today average down to two dollars now you're down to three dollars that's good because when the stock goes up it will boom look at what happened on january 5th all the way to 2064 and it came back down to two and it went all the way back up to four now if you were dumb enough to sell at 264 yeah maybe you made a whole you know two dollars and all but you could have made a whole four in the next day by just averaging down now let's look at what they're looking at now they already have one two three three different products they're working on now, one of the main reasons is if we look at what Jaguar Health is, they're a biopharmaceutical company aiming to treat gastrointestinal conditions in humans and animals. Their leading drug, Mystis, has approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Now, that is already done and so we are already good to go. We already have a product, Mystisy, or Mytis, Mytisy, um, and has approval as an anti-diarrheal for individuals with HIV and AIDS. Boom. Guess what? We have more. However, the company is also working on to expand the approval for other conditions, and that's when the money starts kicking in. Now, this is largely where the long-term excitement in JAG's stocks come in. However, there's another unique catalyst here. In addition, listen to this, guys. Its main business, Jaguar Health, also has a wholly owned Napo Pharmaceutical subsidiary. So they own another company under them that goes by Napo Pharmaceuticals. Napo Pharmaceuticals, in turn, is developing Napo EU. This is an in-development subsidiary believes that Mitasy can work as an anti-diarrheal for patients with long-haul COVID-19. So, anything that I told you guys in my last videos, anything COVID-19 related is going to print attendees we're gonna be making money with anything COVID-19 and yes it's sad to say uh you know we're taking a bad pandemic and we're taking a bad case of you know a a, a disease I guess or uh, a flu or whatever you want to call it because each person kind of uh, deals with it differently. Some people are asleep and wake up normal. Some people have to literally cough up their whole chest out. But, you know, uh, a lot of times we're not, we're working with companies that are actually doing good for the world. Now, it says here, as doctors around the world scramble to help these individuals, companies like Jaguar Health promising to help stand out. Now, this is great. This is what we like. And Napo actually specifically works to develop and commercialize treatments based on rainforest area plants investors should note that the main jaguar product mitasy which has already like i said u.s food and drug administration approval so we're already 99 percent there now we're just waiting for the earnings now we're just waiting for that product to start selling and insurance companies pay up i just want to let you guys know that when a product is up for sale these insurance companies they pay big bucks for it now early in december Jaguar Health announced a new financing deal to help find a new regulatory actions. And it says here, specifically, the company is working to expand into Europe as Napo EU. Napo Pharmaceuticals is also discussing a SPAC merger to take it 
it's new now well guess what happened the SPAC already went through right here you'll see uh, Napo EU has also been in the spotlight thanks to SPAC merger talks today those talks became more than rumors as Jaguar Health confirmed its subsidiary would be coming public via reverse merger post pandemic recovery a special purpose acquisition company from Swiss growth forum in the SPAC in it is a SPAC in question. Investors also learned today that Napo EU will ultimately trade on the AIM Italia exchange. So we are going to go through a reverse merger, which I don't really understand how that goes by. Maybe I'll do some more research and let you guys know in the next video. But all we know is Napo EU is going to be their, their Europe subsidiary. And Jag Jagex is already doing great looking into COVID-19, looking into other cancers to kind of use their product. My, now they're just looking for more market cap. They're looking who can use this product might to see who can use it. And that's what we need. Now, another thing we have is we have institutional buys and we have 9.99% of the shares actually bought by Oasis themselves. And every time we have institutional buys, at least late 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 as in this time we are very late into this product right now very late into this company i mean we already have a product a lot of times when companies are like this usually they don't you know people don't want to buy in because they, they want to buy in into startups there a, a company like oasis an institution like oasis is already willing to own 9.99 percent of their common stock so why wouldn't we why wouldn't we buy you know uh one million shares of this stock itself you know so what do I say? I say, hey, I'm going to enter into Jaguar Health because now it's at a crazy deal. You know, we are buying it at almost 15% uh, fifteen percent discount. And what am I going to do? I'm going to hold my Nokia calls. I'm going to hold them like they're my baby girl. And, you know, uh, I'm going to hold them with my arms. I'm not going to let go to Nokia calls until these things hit at least $10, $20, $30 soon. You know, I am trying to print 10 Ds. I am trying to ride this thing out and i will not sell my shares i will not sell my shares i will average down i will take my call money and i will buy more shares and i will average down because i believe in nokia and i think nokia will soar to the moon and i think you know one thing they say stonks always go up so let me know what you guys think about you know uh, nokia or jaguar health if you guys uh own pretty high maybe you bought nokia pretty high today eight o'clock uh, eight dollars or jaguar at four dollars i mean you guys can always average down remember that or you can sell calls you can always you know buy more shares and sell calls against it and then you can average down using that as well there's so many ways where you can actually never lose in the stock market so i hope you guys trade well i hope tomorrow you guys make so much money and became become the richest people i know you know if you guys want to uh, send me a, a few dollars here and there well don't keep it Buy yourself a gift. Valentine's Day is coming up. Take your mom out. Take your girlfriend out. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.